Bitcoin's path to $100,000 seems to have gathered speed, especially with the market bouncing 20% from the lows in the last 10 days. So let's dive into the charts today and some of the bullish crypto and Bitcoin news. Give us an update of what's going on. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It does go a long way to help helping the channel out in the YouTube algo. All right, without further ado, let's jump in. And if you have never pulled up a Bitcoin chart, make sure you do that. It's really super simple. You can use TradingView. There's links to this in the description down below. Free months, all that sort of stuff. Use the links. Easy to use. So what I'm looking at here is the BLX. And you can see that Bitcoin loves to run these wedge patterns and eventually break out pretty quickly to the upside. So I remember through 2019, 2020, we were looking at these lows coming in and then just drawing some wedges. And again, this is just like drawing lines on a chart. Anything can happen. But the big things I want to look at and the one things I want to make sure occur is that we do get a solid wind up. You want to have at least a few points of contact for each of the lines that you were drawing. And then when you get the breakout, you want to see some volume and possibly a retest. So it you can draw lines anywhere. I get that. But the main things is what I've just said. You want to see those events happen. So at the moment, we've only got about two points of contact. If we get a breakout from this point, then I guess we would have to bring this line up and we would have one, two, three. I guess why would I be choosing this low here? Well, this low was a solid bounce and that was our last weekly swing low before we took off to those highs of 65,000. So to me, that's significant. To others, maybe they want to use a low further down and then move this one a little further back. So it's going to be subjective. That's a little bit of a challenge here for some people. They want something more mechanical. The easy ones I like to look at are joining some tops. At the moment, we've only got two points of contact. Some might argue that this is a third point. If you were to draw it here, then you've got one, two, and you've had a third, a bounce above and a retest on top of the line. So any way I'm drawing it, we've got either bullish because what we're looking for is a breakout of the downtrend. We've got some volume on those breakouts and on the dips as well for the retest. Or if you're drawing it from the tops, then you're still waiting for this break and it's looking more to the bullish side than it is to the bearish side because of the other crypto charts that we look at, uh, the 50% levels. So at the moment, we're above the major 50% level and we're also above our 50% level from the low to the current top, which bounced really cleanly off that 50% level. And you can see the bounce off the 50% on the 20th of September for that, that week. We got a nice strong bounce and so far we're up a few days. So we're looking like we're coming back to test this high. If you're unfamiliar with the 50% and the first time you're seeing my channel, this is a GAN 50%. We're using them, we're drawing them from the major lows to the major highs. Just make sure you've got the major lows and the major highs in play. Scroll out far enough to see those points because these work really, really well. They work similarly to a moving average, except you need to learn how to draw them. I found much better accuracy from the 50%. So that's why I continue to use them. So at the moment, we're coming up to the resistance line. We get a bounce or a fall, sorry, a, a correction from the top. Then I'm just looking for another base to form, potentially a touch of this line anywhere from this point up to where we are at around so that 44K. Does that mean it's going to happen? Of course not. All right, we're just looking at probabilities and pattern setups. Now I've got these words on the chart here as well, leveraged longs liquidated, because these were extreme times over the last one, two, three, four weeks. This bar here on the 6th of September, the week beginning the 6th, leveraged longs were liquidated, huge fears in the market. Then we had the 20th of September, China FUD banning crypto. It's been a wild ride over the last four weeks and I don't expect that to slow down, especially as we move into the next stage of the bull market. And it's something that I've been talking about since June after we had those big lows in May. A lot of people were calling for lower prices. Of course, it's still possible. Anything is still possible. I don't have a crystal ball. I'm just working off what I can see on the charts to my best ability at the time that the data is coming out. So these were the scary times. It looks like we have begun, well, we have begun to put these past us. And the last point at the moment is the psychological level of 50K. The second last point, I should say, is the top of 
thousand. So the first level I was looking at, which I talked about in last week's video, was uh, forty-seven and a half thousand dollars, and we have cleared that. We've got some closes just above that level, so that's a good sign. The bullishness is there. I think people are still slightly scared. Any dips that I see, I'm looking to be buying those dips now because I don't want to be buying too much. I don't want to have a heavy bag as we continue up further. Now, I'm talking about 100K in 100 days. If we go from the current low of the 20th or the 21st of September, 20th was the first massive drop, 100 days brings us out to the end of December. So the last day of September is 101 days away. If we're looking at Plan B's tweet, he's ticked off August of 47K, September of 43K where the month was closing. Next targets are 63K for October, November 98K, and then December 135K. I think we've got the possibility of getting it to those prices in this year. I don't know if that's going to be the top. Some levels that I'm looking out for with the top are up around that 110 to 130. And I was talking about this on a recent video with Crown, just looking at some of these ranges uh, and projecting those forward on some major fibs. We've got 1.618 coming out at about that 102 level. So I, ex I expect some sort of reaction at 100. If we only get a minor reaction like we saw in December to 20K, then I think we've got the, a good opportunity to go really strong to the next level, somewhere in that mid 150s to the higher 180s. It's very broad, I understand that, but we're still a long way off those levels and we have a lot of targets to get through first. 50K, cleanly above 50K, break the 53K, break the 60K and then the recent high of 65. So there's still a lot of levels to get through and it doesn't matter if we don't have an exact target of the market must hit 180,000 by the 31st of December. It honestly doesn't matter. What what does matter is that we start to see patterns form at those highs. So you want to be aware of what pattern is forming and then look to exit when you see the patterns forming. Now let's look at Ethereum because it's in a similar setup except when we join the highs, it has broken out, tested it, broke it out, that little subtlety on high volume had a little retest at the moment. So even if this market shoots up or it decides to come up and then fade again, we've still slowed the bleed. And that's the main thing that I look for, which you're also familiar with when I'm talking about Cardano as well. I just wanna see the bleed slow. So this is like the angle and the rate of the market falling. We have broken that to the upside. And so even if we do get some downside, no problems for me. At least the market is slowing down the bleed and it gives me more opportunities. I've noticed Bitcoin and some of these cryptos do give that second, maybe third opportunity only if you're really aware of what's going on. Otherwise, it's off to the races and the majority of people start to get in once all of these highs are broken because they feel more comfortable. The high prices are here and everyone feels more comfortable at that point in time. What hurts is when the market is here and we're buying it at 3300 and then it starts to fall away from us and gets to around 3,000 because you think, well, I could have bought it at 3,000 and saved myself 10%. I personally, at this point in time in the market, I'm not looking to save about 5, 10%. I would rather save massive gains of 20 or 30% if I see those because to the upside, I still see several hundred percent, maybe for these majors, a couple of hundred percent, a few hundred percent, same deal for Cardano. But yeah, I'm not looking to do the fives and the 10 percents. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency trading and investing, you want to get some updates of what I'm looking at in the markets, the trades, how I'm understanding the markets, then jump across to the Patreon down below. There's a link to this. We're opening up another 100 TIA Lite early adopters uh, positions here this month. So jump on early in the month so that you get the full value of it. There is all the other posts available as well. And you'll find a link to this in the top of the description down below. Let's have a look at the bullish news. Bitcoin prices dip uh, dips are being bought up strongly, but a 50K close remains key. That's what we've seen in the markets as well. We're seeing these lows get bought up and provided these current lows don't get broken. So we've got the one in August and the one in September. I definitely think we've got a really strong bullish base forming at the moment. But if these lows are taken out, then that would mean a lot longer grinding. So the major lows to get broken would be the 28Ks, the 28, 29. If that's broken, show's probably over for some time. But if we hold up these levels, 
the really strong base is forming to get to that 100k by the end of the year uh, but if we do break those lows just one last time if we break these lows at 37 and 39 then it's probably grind time in these lower levels for a little longer so the article just talks about the lows are getting bought up and that's the that's the reason there we're seeing the lows get bought up the major lows are getting higher that generally means the lows are getting bought up so if you are making money in cryptocurrency this is a warning this warning i know i've got a lot of bullish news as well but make sure you have google authenticator turned on make sure you're holding your cryptocurrencies in something like ledger you can find a link to that down below as well to purchase your hardware wallets because we can see here Coinbase multi-factor authentication hack affects at least 6,000 customers. If you're getting your two-factor authentication codes on SMS, use this as a time to move over to something like Google Authenticator. There are several out there, but choose something else that is more secure. Speaking of SMS, I was stumbling on my words thinking about SMSF. This is for the Aussies wanting to invest in cryptocurrency through their superannuation funds. Again, you can find a link to this down below. 100 bucks, 150 of free credit off your monthly fees when you sign up using the Pazino code. So if you want to move from those traditional super funds, check out the link down below. Talk to them, 20 minutes free consultation, super easy to set up, and then you are in control of your retirement funds. Finally, SCC pushes deadlines on four Bitcoin ETF applications to late 2021. Just keeping up to date with the ETFs because everyone believes these are going to be some of the catalysts to push this Bitcoin price well over $100,000. Of course, we've got targets of $400,000 and $500,000 out there. I don't know how close we're going to get to those, especially considering the percentages that we have already put in. But I definitely believe the news will be so hot that you will have a very hard time believing that it can't get to $400,000 in the next six months. Solana NFT sells for $2.1 million, breaking previous network record. Finally, just to add, leave on this crypto bullish news, we know and we've seen it before when NFT, NFTs are going crazy, usually something is up in the market, whether it's an uh, intermediate top or a major top, something is going on because people are getting extremely bullish on JPEGs. Well, one-off JPEGs, extremely rare JPEGs, okay? So keep that in mind. Long-term, I think the market has got a lot more bull left in it. Short-term, always anyone's guess, but we're doing our best to navigate the market. So make sure you've hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and bell notification icon so you'll be updated with cryptocurrency content, links to Patreon, Ledger, and of course, SMSFs are down below as well. I'll see you guys at the next video or on Twitter or Instagram. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.